First and only on four, a negative review of a local business lands a mission man with a lawsuit. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz found out how this case might play out in court. Many of us take to Facebook or Yelp when we want to express our frustrations with a business and there's actually legislation here in Texas which makes it harder for a business to sue you if they don't like what you post. But one local business has filed a lawsuit claiming that one review crossed the line. It was written under my name so it, you know immediately like I was shocked. Mission resident Vince Fernandez says he doesn't know how a negative review was posted to a local bowling alley's Facebook page, even though it was posted from his profile. Well, maybe I left, you know, my Facebook on somewhere, you know, at a, on someone's computer. The post caused the business owner of Incredible to sue Fernandez. The owner and the attorney representing Incredible declined to speak to CBS 4 News at this time. But the lawsuit states that Fernandez defamed Incredible by posting false and misleading statements, which could cause them to lose business. If you look at some of the allegations, this one might actually make it through to an actual trial. U.S. Congressman Blake Farenthold authored an anti-slap or strategic lawsuit against public participation bill. Anti-slap legislation protects your rights, your First Amendment rights, to post an honest, truthful review. He says an anti-slap statute is already in place in Texas. Farenthold says in these kinds of cases, a judge must determine whether the allegations are opinions which are protected or false statements of fact. If you say something like, uh, you know, they spit in my food, that's an allegation of a fact that uh, potentially could end up uh, driving it to trial. Fernandez still stands by the claim that he didn't write the post at all. He says no matter how the legal battle plays out, he's already learned a valuable lesson. Be careful where you leave your Facebook on, you know, make sure you log out because you never know what could happen. And both parties are due in court next week for another hearing. Live from the Farm McAllen Newsroom, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.